let's keep it rolling with Kostaki Economopolis. Fantastic to be back in Montreal. Last week I was out cruising around, I saw a Hyundai dealership, big sign out front, no interest. Well, that's exactly what I was thinking. I got a fortune cookie I just think is great. It said, life is a tragedy for those who feel and a comedy for those who think. And it's so true. Life is terrible and wonderful, depending on how you look at it, you know? Take an example. A guy was watching a world-class soccer game. His wife came in and changed the channel. They got into a fight. He killed her, watched the rest of the game, and then called the police. Wow. Now, that's terrible. But I cut that article out, put it in my refrigerator, and now I can watch whatever I want. <laughs> There's so many different ways to be funny, you know, and I like them all. I like simple, clean funny. I'm allergic to cats. Anyone here has got a tip for you? It's not actually the cat hair that we're allergic to. It's the cat skin. So this is true. If you take a cat and wash it every day, four times a day, it will leave. <laughs> I like pointed funny. My own uh, American government has outlawed the sale of candles with lead wicks because the fumes can be toxic to your lungs. Meanwhile, they have no problem with the sale of guns designed to shoot lead directly through your lungs. I like dark funny. A lot of my friends are getting married. I keep hearing the same thing. You need commitment. That's what you need, commitment. Folks, commitment's overrated. Think about it. What's the difference between a stalker and a killer? Commitment. It's not always good. I like topical funny. Scientists just found a drug that reduces obesity in mice. Well, thank God for that, huh? <laughs> Nothing's more embarrassing than your friends come over, your big fat mice are all laying around. <laughs> no, we're doing research on the mice, right? Because we're looking for a drug to make us thin. Because we all want to be thin, we just don't want to have to eat less or move around. The other big trend now, the stomach staple, right? A surgical procedure to make your stomach smaller so you can't eat as much. Call me old fashioned, but if you want to eat less, so oh, I don't know. Have you tried eating less? <laughs> How about a lip staple? That'll work just as well. <laughs> staple your fingers together. Try it in Pringles like this. <laughs> There's a lot of ways to eat less. Maybe you can wear one of those big funnels they put on the cats and dogs so you can't quite reach your mouth. <laughs> I'm so hungry. You'll be throwing up donut holes trying to catch them. <laughs> Have like a ring of them. <laughs> yeah, dump them out and try again. <laughs> I'm just saying, don't have surgery at that. It's stupid and expensive. For the same money, you could hire a guy to follow you around and knock food out of your hand. I told you no pie. <laughs> These people are obsessed. I'm up two and a half pounds. Look, man, if all you care about is the number that's on the scale, try amputation. <laughs> huh? I'm on the new amputation weight loss program. With one simple procedure, I lost 14 pounds without any messy diet or exercise. And now I can park wherever I want. But if we help each other, folks, dreams can come true. They really can. Sometimes you gotta hang in there for a little while, you know? Like in high school, I wanted nothing more than a 1983 280ZX. Oh. And last year, for $500, that dream came true. <laughs> mm -hmm. Another high school dream of mine was to hook up with a senior. And last year... <laughs> for $500. <laughs> hey, you guys have been really good to me. Thank you very much. Get out, everybody. Billboard that reads, remember, statutory rape is a crime. <laughs> remember? I want to be able to go to a costume party dressed as Wolverine and not Black Wolverine. <laughs>